Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Ifom Imo. <laughs> okay, in today's video, I'll be talking about the two Boolean abstract operation in JavaScript, right? And this is the last video for the abstract operation series. So yay! All right. <laughs> when a non-boolean value is used in a boolean context right a place that requires a boolean the two boolean abstract operation gets invoked to convert that value to a value of type boolean but the two boolean abstract operation is quite simpler than the other abstract operations because none of the other abstract operations get invoked here like in the case of a two string or two number where objects need to first be converted to their primitive equivalent. So all JavaScript values can be divided into two groups, the truthy values and the falsy values, right? So this table in this spec defines a very short list of values that will return false when coerced to Boolean, right? They're called falsy values. The truthy value is a value that will return true when evaluated in a Boolean context. So if a if a value needs to be converted to its Boolean equivalent, JavaScript just checks to see whether it's on the false list or not. So on the table, we can see all the value data types in JavaScript and what they will return when coerced to Boolean, right? But we're going to sieve out the falsy values first, okay? Okay, so undefined returns false, no returns false. For if it's a Boolean, it says return the argument. So true returns true and false returns false. For number, the falsy values we have are 0, negative 0, and none. For string, the only falsy value we have is the empty string. Uh, for symbol, is considered truthy, so that's not on the falsy list. For big ints, the, on the only falsy value we have is 0, n. For objects, for objects, it says return true, right? So generally, objects in JavaScript are truthy, are truthy values, right? So what it also says, an alternate algorithm related to the is HTML DDA internal slot is mandated in section B371. All right? Let's check that out. Okay. So it says the is HTML DDA internal slot is an internal slot, and objects with this particular internal slot behaves like undefined. Right? Uh, in some of they behave like undefined in some operations including two boolean which is what we're focusing on in this video it goes on to say the document that all objects in browsers is the only objects with this internal slot and it exists for web compatibility right for web compatibility purposes so we're not going to look at why the document that all objects behaves like this right but if you want to find out why and know more about it, there's a great explanation in Kyle Simpson's book, the You Don't Know JS series titled Types and Grammar, and you can get it on Amazon. So let's see how the spec says objects with this internal slot should behave when coerced to be Boolean. So it says if the argument has this internal slot, return false, right? And the spec says that objects with this internal slot behave like undefined, right? And undefined when coerced to a boolean returns false, so that's understandable. So these are the list of falsy values we have in JavaScript. What are the truthy values? Well, everything that is not on the falsy list, right? The falsy list is very short, so whatever is not on this list currently is a truthy value. If that's the case, what will an empty string with just white space evaluate to when coerced to a boolean? Well, it's not on the list, so it will evaluate to true. Okay. Another important thing to note is that the fact that a value is considered truthy doesn't mean it's equal to true, right? In fact, the only, the only value in JavaScript that is loosely equal to true is the number one. So for a better understanding on how booleans are compared using the abstract equality, abstract or loose equality operator, let's see what the spec says. So number 9 and 10, right? It says if type x is a boolean, return the result of the comparison to number x is equal to y. 
So it's basically saying convert X to a number and then compare it to Y. So if a Boolean is being compared to a string, a number or whatever, it doesn't really care what the other value is or what type the other value is. It first tries to convert the Boolean to a number. So if we try to compare this numeric string literal to true, it will first convert true to a number and true is loosely equal to one, right? So we have a string and a number now. So let's see what this spec says for comparing strings to numbers or strings with numbers. I don't know, I guess it's hard. <laughs> okay, so I think number five, it says if type X is number and and type Y is string, return the result of, of the comparison X is equal to, to number Y. It tries to convert the string to a number, right? And in our case, the string will be converted to the number one. So the comparison ends up being one is equal to one and will get true. So according to the MDN, truthy values are values that are considered true when evaluated in a Boolean context, right? So if we try to compare the number 10 to true, we'll get false because true is not loosely equal to 10 or any other truthy value in JavaScript except the number one, right? But if a truthy or falsy value is used in a Boolean context, right? Uh, an if statement, for example. Using the two Boolean abstract operation, JavaScript will try to convert it to its Boolean equivalent first before going on with anything else. So we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you understand how the two Boolean abstract operation in JavaScript works. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.